I'm in Belgium looking for the best fries in Antwerp and we're starting off our tour here at Fritkot Max. This place looks amazing. I cannot wait to try their food. Fritz, not French fries, Belgian Fritz. All right, let's go in the back. Let's see how they make these Fritz. Thomas, hey, okay, I passed through? Yeah, of course. This is Thomas. Hey. Hi, how are you guys doing? And he's taking us around today. Perfect, welcome. So what do you guys do here? Free Max. Max. To be really short, Belgian fries. Uh, Free Cold Max, we've been doing this for forever. I've been doing it for 10 years now, since 2013. Wow. Uh, what we're trying to sell is just Belgian fries. Like you can see people here, they try beef stew, sausages, but Belgian fries are our main thing to try. We also have it all in cones. You can see them here, we have a small, medium, large, uh, with our logo on it, Free Cold Max, Belgian fries. That's the thing we're trying to do here. You guys do it with sausage? Yeah. Chicken? Yeah. Flemish stew, which is beef? Yeah. So you have a mix of like a you variety of a lot of things here, but what you're trying to do is keep it really classic. We don't have a large amount of different snacks or, or many difficult things. It's just Belgian fries, classic snacks, but not too much, not too many. Just keep it cool and simple. And here we have the fritz. Here we have some fries. Yeah, we're real frying because it's quite okay today, busy day. Uh, we're always frying fries. We try to do at least 200 kilos a day. 200 kilos? That's what you try, yes, you try to do, yeah, yeah. Normally we should always make... <laughs> I, I always want to try to make a thousand kilo each week. That's and what we try to do. How, so how many do you sell a day, roughly? How many? Today it's going to be like 250, 300 portions of rice. We'll, we'll push this to 500 soon. <laughs> so which one are we getting today? Uh, I'm going to just give, give you the max menu, because like we said, we try to keep it simple. So you get two sausages called the Currywurst in Belgium, Frikandel in the Netherlands, many different names. It's just a plain sausage, really classic, with some small fries and a sauce you can choose in a second. Two sausages, drop them in there. And now just wait. That's the most essential thing with fries. Always wait long enough because a lot of people want to go really fast, but just take your time. It's not fast food, it's Belgian fries. And th <laughs> this oil is beef fat? That's beef, yeah, of course. Yeah. That's, a, that's the most classic way to prepare Belgian fries, beef fat. Fry twice, by the way, because these guys are already fried once. Lower temperature, takes some time. Now we're just going to fry them again a second time to have good flavor and a bit of crisp in it. I'm ready. I'm excited. Thomas, how many sauces do you have here? Right here, we just have 12 different ones. We, we, we only, have, 12. only 12 because we actually have some more, but we hide them. <laughs> so, so we also also some warm sauces, but actually they're not here, of course. Uh, but these are our most classic sauces to try. Um, why is it like this? We get a lot of tourists. Everyone comes here. Which is that? Which one is that? And our guys always try to work alone, so they don't really have the time for it. Here you can just come and try whatever you like. So that's the cool thing about Max. I love it. So they have a huge mix. Curry yeah. look. And the loose is the traditional Flemish uh, sauce. Uh, yeah, quite. Belgian sauce. We, always, we always try to say the mayonnaise is the most classic one. Or the tartar sauce. Those are two really basic Belgian popular sauce. I like and the, the loose also, Yeah, it's a bit spicy. I wanted to say if you want to try some spicy sauce, but it's Belgian spicy. Because I saw on your YouTube, you also make a spicy sauce. No. Do you have David Beard here hot sauce? I don't have it here yet but it's really spicy no i left it in the because because this this I'll is get it out. this is belgian spicy it's not really <laughs> no we like it here but it doesn't have to be more spicy than that it just gives it a yeah. spice yeah. yeah yeah so go ahead try whatever you like okay. the black button serves you so you can really choose so try whatever you need yeah, i need to have a fry i'm starving <laughs> not salted yet like matt told you but really good <laughs> perfect so we're gonna do in the loose samurai wow so creamy if you want to try in the other store, I'm going to make a, a special fries we also make, and it's with yopi sauce. It's quite a sweet sauce with onions. This it's one? It's really popular these days. Yopi? Yeah. This is great. So if I was you, I would get 12 cups and try them all. <laughs> uh, what else? Mayonnaise? And what's zote ma mayo? Sweet mayonnaise. Sweet mayonnaise. Yeah. Let's try some sweet mayonnaise. I want to do some different things. I feel like mayonnaise alone is just boring, right? I don't know. Curry? You guys have curry? Yeah. Yeah. This is curry. Love that flavor. Let's get that table. I'll stay in the sun. This is amazing. Oh, I love this country. Antwerp, <laughs> beautiful. And this is it. Belgian fries. Belgian fritz. <laughs> so fritz is Dutch? Uh, yeah, actually it is. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we always try to say Belgian fries because in Antwerp we would call it fritjes. Fritjes? Yes. So which one of these do I try first? Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter really. If you want to go spicy right away, try that one. This is Andalus or the Samurai? This one's Andalus, a bit spicy. Andalus. Most people like it really much, but it's a bit sweeter than the Samurai sauce. But they're all built up from mayonnaise, so, so the flavor always goes a bit to Belgian mayonnaise, but then add a new flavor to it. So this one is with spices, the other one is sweet, the other one is with onions, so mm. we always start from Belgian mayonnaise. That one's amazing. Really good, eh? Yeah, it's awesome because every fries place has that sauce. 
but always a little different. Always a little different. We, we always work with the same brand for many years already because um, it's our favorite. But yeah, you can find 20 types of Andalus in all of Belgium probably. But oh my we should do this brand. It's really good. <laughs> this is sweet mayo. It's actually funny with the sweet mayo because in Belgium we always want Belgian mayonnaise. It's a bit more sour. It has a bit of acidity. Really. Yeah. That's a real Belgian thing. But these days we know a lot of people from the Netherlands come here. They're like, oh, you guys have real mayonnaise, like a bit sour. Yeah, of course we have. And all the Belgian guys come, you guys have sweet mayo, no? <laughs> so it's really strange because it's actually just not our thing, but everyone likes sweet mayo these days. It's tasty. It's, yeah. it's easy to eat, this one. Yeah. And then this one is the... Yopi. Yopi. It's also really, really classic sauce with onion, also sweet, but really popular these days. Oh, I like what you see inside. It's not just That's like... Onion. It's onion. Yeah. Oh, I love Opie. And here for my Indian fans, curry. Wow. A lot of people here, really Belgian Antwerp classics, that take curry with, with a meatball or with a sausage, not really with fries. It's strange, everywhere in the world people do different stuff. Here we get yeah, a lot course. of real customers that come every day, say, oh, I want just a sausage with some curry sauce. That's a real classic thing. I love all the sauces. They're, They're also good. creamy. <laughs> I haven't touched the sausage yet. There you go. Just pick it up and dip. Yep. Same thing. No fork, no knife. <laughs> no napkin. No, finger food. Just Come go on. For it. I love this. <laughs> I'm going my favorite. Andalus. For sure. I love this. Really good, eh? It's almost like black pudding. Yeah, it's really, you know what it is, it's, it's not too much. So a, lo a lot of people come here and then the first thing you do as, as a Belgian child, you grow up, you're really happy with your first sausage like this. Mm. You go to a place like this, you're there, yo, mom, dad, can I try a cutie wurst? It's really a sensation you'll never forget. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this because it's a nice light layer. Yeah. Inside, super moist, juicy. Juicy and actually for a plain sausage, a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Oh my god, I'm getting full. <laughs> First pot. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Everything's delicious. I think next thing I have to do, we just pair them, <laughs> right? Go for it. <laughs> people do this. Because I've seen them, uh, like, people cut people this do. and throw it on top yeah. of the fries. Of course. And you throw all the sauce on the fries. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. If it's to go, just build the whole thing up. You get a fork and just. We even just put in. We, we always give a cone. We even put beef stew on top of a cone and stuff. We just. Oh, that's great. Do whatever feels good. Oh, that's delicious. Crazy. Oh, I like that. Nice contrast. Sweet. I've never had sweet mayo. It's different. Yeah. Like I said, you have to be into it, but if you like it, you never want anything else anymore. <laughs> it's not too sweet, but this curry is good. So it's, it's, in terms of curry, I feel like this is like, curry is closer to like a mustard. Yeah. Enjoy. I'm not supposed to eat this many fries before two more fry spots, but some more fries, yeah, of course. <laughs> the top fries we've had. This and the uh, Fratier Atelier, there is a Flemish stew one. Yeah, really good. Let's go. This is amazing. Where we are in the city center is epic. Look at the view cathedral, walking through the old town, lots of. With hot sauce. With hot sauce. <laughs> we got David's been here hot sauce. In the next place, we're going to try some Belgian Fritz with DBH. I love this. Restaurants everywhere. Where's the beer though? <laughs> everywhere. You can get beer anywhere. What's the best beer in Antwerp? We actually bought by it. Yeah? I'm gonna tell you in a second. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not Duvel? Duvel? Uh, no, Duvel's yeah, the biggest no, brand. It's, yeah, it's a big brand, but it's been in, in Antwerp we're all yeah, the coding. You can see it here actually. People don't this. That's a really Belgian brand because also in their logo they have Bravo. It's a guy on the big square here, so. That's a really answer beer. Brembo is the yeah, monument. Yeah, yeah, it's the monument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a beer cafe there called Pothet Spot. You can try any Belgian beer you can imagine. It's right there. Pothet Spot. Pothet Spot. Yeah, it's a really Belgian name. It's the name the father. It's the father's barrel, beer barrel. The father's barrel right there, right next to the cathedral. So father go pray knows. and then go get yourself an ale. <laughs> father knows. Whoa, this is awesome. So what's the name of the square? Uh, this is Hansun Marek, so we're in front of the cathedral now, so this is the main square in front of the cathedral. It's actually just some, some restaurants, some, some Belgian chocolates as you can see, and the cathedral of course. The cathedral is the highest tower in Antwerp. It's a kid living in the street, just get it with a dog, and, and like we know in Belgium, with, with novels, uh, stories, 
in Asia they grew up with this story. So a lot of people from China come here to take some pictures because they, they're built in the street right now. So they stayed outside at night, they both died, so it's actually a sad story. But they have a lot of adventures together. So that's the monument in front of the cathedral. Did you know that the Antwerp Cathedral took 200 years to build? The Cathedral of Our Lady is a Roman Catholic cathedral in Antwerp, Belgium. 1352 to 1521, 200 years to build this, crazy. So on the way to the next first place, we passed the cathedral, we made it to the main square of Antwerp. It is gorgeous. I think it's the most beautiful square I've seen in Belgium so far. Thomas, what is the name of the square? This is the, the Grote Mark, so it's actually translated like the big square. So it's the city center of Antwerp with our town hall right in the middle of it. Uh, Bravo, our big monument where, where the name Antwerp comes from. So if you visit Antwerp, this is where you have to be. Now, more Fritz. And this is Frituurstad. They do things a little more modern here. I can't wait to try some more fries. Just filling up on Fritz. Who are you? And the new Thomas, hi. <laughs> the modern Thomas. Like I told you, it's not the Belgian fries, it's still always Belgian fries, but this is not more the tradition anymore. It's really cool, hip, trendy, a new place. The way it works here is they have an ordering station. You just come here, open the menu. So what do you recommend? I would recommend you take a, a special. We have some, a lot of different specials, of course, but our own brand is Fritjetstad. It's a real Belgian thing to say. Uh, so what we make, we make some fries with beef stew, the yoppi sauce is the sweet sauce you tried, also with a sausage, but it all gets loaded on one fries. Whoa. Really good. Monster dish? Just okay. Just okay. You're gonna manage it. <laughs> all right, let's see how they make it. You wanna try it? I can make it myself? Yeah, you can. Okay, I'll make my own fries. <laughs> So uh, first we're going to start off with the uh, fries, so you can take scoop. Is that a good amount? Like this, yes. That's enough. Now we can now drop, drop it. it. Yeah. It will take a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes? So we're going, I'm going to show you first, just small heat. I'm going to cut some slices in slices. So small slices, yeah, obviously small this slices is for me. Gonna, yeah. I'm not a great chef. Need to work on Dude, it. I want to work here. <laughs> Straight into the fryer? Yeah. So like this? Oh, I like this. So it's a little different from the other style we did. So then this goes on top of the loaded yeah. fries. Everything mixed. First you're going to put the sauce, then the sausage, then the fried onions. You have a, you have a beautiful dish. So. Oh, I can't wait. You can see the difference here. We work with small baskets, so we can take a lot of different orders. Whereas at Max, we have one big pot. It's a way more classic way to prepare Belgian fries. This one takes 10 kilo of fries in one time, pre-fries it, takes it out again. We don't have to touch anything. Really easy. Amazing. It's going to show you. That's it. And this is seven minutes. Seven minutes and a half. Yeah, you have to be precise. So the temperature is set. Now it's going to rise the temperature because yeah, they feel cold fries. They're going to rise the temperature. They're going to stop again at 140 degrees. And after 70 and a half, seven and a half minutes, they're all done. Wow. And for the sauce, it's here it's yuppie sauce, so it's a sweet sauce uh, based on onions. That's it. And now we go to our homemade beef stew sauce. Beef stew sauce. Yeah. So we have the beef stew. The Flemish and we stew. Have the beef stew sauce as well. It's a very popular uh, beef sauce. Oh, that's the best. Nothing like that gravy. Or sausage on top. Top it up with some uh, oh, fried wow. onions. Woo! I'm so happy. Richard Stad. Richard Stad. We have a few different sauces. So two sauces: the gravy, the onions, crispy onions, the sausage. Let me try one of these. Everything's so fried and so delicious. We're not using our hands for this one. No, it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Fork. <laughs> I love this. This is like, this is what we call in America, a mess. A mess. It looks beautiful. <laughs> With the roasted onions on it, it's really, it's a sensation. <laughs> so many flavors and textures. It's crazy. Crunchy. Love the sauces. The creaminess of this. Sauce. Which one is this one? That was the yopi sauce, so that's the sweet sauce with the onion. And in the middle we add, we just have a line of fresh homemade beef stew sauce. The beef stew. You have to get everything. Do you like it? Mm. I love that Flemish stew. <laughs> that's Flemish stew, bro. Yeah, really, really, that's Flemish stew. Yeah, homemade. We, we have to make it every day because every day we're sold out. Oh. 
Nothing else to say about it. Just good? My happy place right here. <laughs> no, it's thanks, just, thanks. It's like creamy. Happy to see you enjoying it. it. It's fantastic. I mean, you know, fries in America, we're just used to fries and the sauce. Of course. This is something different. The, the beef fat is the oil that you yeah, guys yeah, fried in. That gives, gives you the flavor. It's always a bit in there, the beef. You're always going to taste it a bit. Yeah, I love it. When you put the Flemish uh, stew on top, it starts to get absorbed into it. It gets soft, crunchiness. Big bite, guys. Really big bite. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Do whatever you like. Too much? More. No, I want to I wanna know what people do here, you know? This is quite a mess, but it's okay. It's, it's worth it. You know what? It comes all together, so it's no problem. So like now, now you actually just have like the max menu you have, but this is just all together in one portion. I personally like <laughs> this style. This one, yeah. 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 I'm a big mixer. I, I'm, I'm more classic guy, so this so is not my my stuff. But we just we just wanted to say how are we gonna serve Belgian fries in a cool way, and that's when we come with this one. Phenomenal fries, definitely come here. <laughs> well, and um, the crunchiness of the onions, nice little. Add. combination, yeah. Mmm. I still have more place. Unreal. <laughs> I'm talking to go. You gonna go? I'm joking. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> like that? Oh, you're gonna put everything together. We mix like three sauces. Sausage, <laughs> potatoes, some stew. Mm. It's the spice it's missing. Everything else is like creamy and sweet. That's spicy. Ooh, I feel the heat today. Because I haven't had any spice today, I really feel it. It's okay. No, it's okay. Just have a Belgian tiny. spicy. Uh, definitely higher than Belgian yeah, spicy. Yeah. Belgian spicy is like no spice. It's really good. Good. It's not just spicy. It also has some flavor to it. It's sweet. That's the thing. Sometimes it, it, if you get a spicy sauce, you're all lost. But this one's okay, it's a good flavor. Because most spice sauce is like watered down yeah. vinegar. What you use? That's it. Uh, pineapple guava and cashmere chili and apple apple vinaigrette. I went to Frit Atelier in Brussels. Now we're going again here in Antwerp. I want to show you what this place is all about. Let's go. That's enough. That's enough. Let's go. Mm. 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 Whoa. Love Thanks. it. Thank you. You'll make some fries for us. I'll make you a pizza. But uh, build them on him though, not on us. Yeah, 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 very good. And I will pay either. It's always on him. No problem at all. Always welcome at our place, mate. Always. Always. And our third and final stop on this Fritz tour is Fritz Atelier. This place is amazing. We visited it in Brussels. We're also going to it in Ghent. And here we are. I'm excited. My friend, how you doing? Hi. Ines. Hi. Ines, right? Ines, yes. Ines. Nice to meet you too. Welcome in Vitali uh, Antwerp. Thank you so much. So you went uh, to, to Brussels already? To Brussels. And you uh, had uh, the Flemish beef stew? Of course. So now at the, maybe we can take Parmesan and basil today and a, a fish burger and then we will give you all of the croquettes so you can try them all. That's their menu. Five different Fritz fries. You have two burgers, you have chicken chunks with like chicken nuggets. You have the three croquettes. They have some beer over here, drinks. Come with me, let's go to the back, let's see them frying the fritz. So that's Flemish beef stew on top. Love it, super mustard seeds. They look so juicy. Daniel? Danke wel. I can work here. Come on. No, I love this. This was the best thing ever. There's nothing like Flemish stew. I thought goulash from Hungary was good. This is better. Sorry to my Magyaris. Almost ready. How much time do you put it in for? For, for yeah, in total it's four, four minutes. So, uh, so this is the shrimp croquette. It comes with a fried parsley and then tartar sauce and a lime. And the last one is the beef croquette. That looks so good. Pickles, pickled vegetables, some garden cress. So. Ready for these croquettes? I don't think. Shrimp, don't think so. beef, 
and cheese. Wow. This is better than Spain, better than Latin America. I don't know, Belgians might, might make the best croquettes. It smells so good. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, it is good. It's heaven. It's Fritz heaven. Fritur. Yes. Oh, here we go. Tomato powder and with a basil mayonnaise. Such a beautiful fritz. Wow. So, and this is. Thank you, well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, well. Starting with the fish burger. So, this uh, comes with curry, lettuce, tomato, pickles. Fish and tartar sauce, and also some zest. So it's ready, and I will place it in a box. That's beautiful. Wow. You're, you're taking yeah. care, such good care of us. I am so ready to try these fritz. What's up, man? You good? Everybody good? They're watching me like I'm a crazy man. It's all good, I'm starving. Oi, sorry. Okay, so we got three croquettes. We have the fish burger. And we have the Parmesan. Parmesan and basil. Yes. Parmesan and basil. All right, so you know what? I got to start with the fritz. This is going to be so good. Parmesan with some basil. Mm -hmm. So delicate. So crunchy. Oh, I love this sauce. And basil flakes like throughout. Try the basil. Pretty sure the best. The beef croquette. I was telling you, I've had so many croquettes in my life, and they're never like this. Oh, wow. Look at that shredded beef. Super light, fluffy, crispy outside. And then we have the sauce. Oh, that's heaven right here. It's so yummy. You know, this is the one thing that's hard to come by beef croquettes. Usually it's ham and cheese, chicken, even pork, especially Cuban style. Bechamel in, uh, in Spain, but here in the Netherlands, they do it differently. Wow. Crazy good. Here we have a cheese croquette. Look at this huge croquette, break it in half. <sighs> it's like bechamel. This one reminds me of a Spanish croquette. And I love that each one has a different side. It's like cheese lava. So this is shrimp croquette. I thought it was cheese, but it's shrimp. It is so good. It's creamy. It's yes, cream. This is the that cheese one. Is one. The this is the best seller? Yes. I mean, it's the ultimate croquette. This is That's cheese. cheese, 100%. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you. Ooh. It's like a croquette fondue. Wow. It's amazing, but this is better. The shrimp. Holy smokes. This is the best thing ever. The crunch, creaminess, and this you mix it with beer. It's triple caramel. Nice head. This glass gave me a nice head. You're missing out on this one. Yeah? I mean, you ate so much though. Best pesto? Mm. I don't know. Maybe yeah, right. Tell us in the comments. Oh, maybe right here. In Belgium. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. Potato diet. My beer's finally ready to be tried. Oh my god. So strange. <laughs> it's like. You know what it is? Triples, they have the same like flavor profile, but then something different in there. Sometimes vanilla, sometimes coffee, sometimes something else. Ine, hey, Dankavel, amazing. Woo!
All right, guys, that was our free tour tour of Antwerp. Incredible, went to three spots, they're all unique. I really can't tell you which is my favorite because they're all very, very different. And yeah, if you want to do this tour, very, very easy. It takes like 20 minutes to walk between them all, but you will fill up really, really heavy food. But this is it, this is Belgium. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, bye.